On one of Mick's smash prawns. God, he crashed it too. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Oh, there's a boil. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. That's what you want. Oh, again, big boil. Look at it. Come on. Properly take it. And again, look at that boil that's come up. this fizzer around for about an hour now and uh, the sun's just gotten over the top of the trees and I've been watching the hits that I've been getting on it really closely I've just been getting swirls and I got one baby jack real early on um, like third cast in but they're just not hitting it with the conviction that I reckon um, they should be if they were really gonna take it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna swap it out it's one of my favorite jack lures they're just dominant and uh, I'm going to swap it out and try something a little bit smaller. I've seen some little prawns just hopping around on the surface getting chased by maybe brim or jacks this morning. So I reckon one of Mick Molina's splash prawns might do the trick. They're a lot smaller. The, uh, the hook gauge on them is a lot, lot smaller than what I run on those fizzers. So I'm going to have to be a little bit careful, hopefully. I know they, I know they catch plenty of jacks, these things, but the way I like to rip them out of structure once they hook up, I'm gonna to have to be careful when I pull the rings or just wreck the little treble. So you might be able to see that there. Perfect little prawn profile. Let's see if we can get a jack on it. I just think there should have been a little bit more interest on what I was using. So I'm gonna try and just change out and, um, and hopefully this thing will do the trick. Still cast it really well on a bait caster, that's pretty impressive for such a light little lure. Yeah, they still cast so well. Drag, I'm just gonna have to drop that a little bit. Yeah. Otherwise I'm just gonna straighten the rings on this. Definitely keen to use surface lures. You can see there's basically no tidal movement. So I think when it's like that early morning, your best bet is to stir them up with a little bit of surface action. Even just the splash and then just a couple of little, just movements on the surface can be enough to pull them out from cover. Whereas if, if I was throwing like my, my skipping plastic, I just think they're a little bit too reluctant when there's no flow to come hammering out and chase something down. See how we get on with this little splash brawn. <laughs> Still lot, lots of shadows around. And I reckon this kind of cover, these little mangrove sections, really natural for a, yeah there it is really natural for a uh, for a prawn to come out look at that 
Well, there you go. That's answered the call. It's exactly what I wanted. Bigger would have been nice, but oh, I don't really care. He's stunning, that little fella. And right on cue. Stay well behaved, buddy. Look at that. Oh, just what you want. Just what you want. On these little splash prawns. Interesting, isn't it? Like, there's more cover on the other side. It's deeper. Much more jacky looking. But for a realistic presentation of one of these little prawns coming out from under the mangroves is the way to go, obviously. And he took that with way more conviction. I know he's only a little one, but no hesitation. Epic. That's what it's about, I reckon. Just trying to piece it together to get the bite happening. Because that would have been close to an hour that I was running that fizzer. And man, when it's on and, it, and they're feeding on that thing, there's, there's nothing that can compete with that fizzer. It's really just my confidence bait too. I've got it dialed in casting wise. It's, it's gotta be one of my favorites. But they just weren't responding to it, eh? This thing's super light. Probably, I would have been better off with the spinning outfit to be throwing this one in and around all this cover. So I've got this reel dialed in for sl just slightly heavier lures. All right, we'll get back on this side. It's exactly the retrieve of, it, it, like it's matching what I've seen out here this morning, which are these little prawns just hopping out from these mangroves and then just stopping, getting chased. I can hear the jacks cracking, I'm like, it's really distinctive. A lot of the time when a jack sets it, you can hear his jaw just crack shut. That's better. Way better. change 100 percent like that was he was he wanted that he wanted that one bad all right so this is the answer this morning i reckon these little smash prawns they haven't been around very long too which is something that i really like you know lures that are fresh to the market, they, the fish haven't really seen them, and I definitely think that puts you in an advantage, but when you see this thing in the water and the profile, the tiny little action that it pushes out with that little cup at the front, it's, it's irresistible, hey, and there's, I mean, it's, they're great on whiting, trevally, brim, even flathead, but these jacks are loving it, eh? in and around these mangroves, it's just dominant. This is gonna be good, we're gonna get fish, no question, eh? But here it is, I've done a review on these already, just chasing brim and whiting. But that's the little profile there, I love these coloured ones, like these banana ones, and just the yellows and oranges. Oh! 
Oh, yep, I got it. Oh, full teabagging. Oh, it's gonna snap me, snap my braid if I don't get it quick. It's boiling. Yes, I got it. Yes. The cheekiest cast. Oh man, because it's only really shallow. Just keep his head out of the water and he won't be able to do too much. And I'm gonna get him on the smash prawn. You little beauty. Oh, look at the copper colours in it. Yes! That's about a 40. You little ripper. Man, there just had to be something there, eh? Take a look at this. Yeah. And it's, it's just a change of lure, eh? Like, I was just fishing too big. And they just, they're after these little prawns. That's the thing that they've got no hesitation with this morning. And so, the little, the little smash prawns, just a perfect imitation, perfect little action. Uh, I'll, just, I'll, I'll just unhook it so you can have a real good look at the lure. Oh, man. That is awesome. And <laughs> I've thrown it over, over a log just to get right in close to the back end of the structure. That's the sort of, it's the sort of casting that's just, you've got to do it. It's like, you can't hedge and just cast to the outside of the structures. You've got to get it right in there. If you want the chocolates, you've got to get your cast right in there. Take a look at that. Oh. Settle down, buddy. Look at that. I want a mix smash prawns. God, he crashed it too. They'd been hesitant all morning on these bigger lures. And I just downsized. The hooks are really good, eh? They're quite strong, really sharp. And I've sharpened them up again because I've been throwing it in around cover all morning. What a stunning fish. Sick. Yeah. going to keep repeating I'll show you the I'll show you the techniques that I'm using so oh, it's not real deep it's like it's it's really really shallow in here you can hear me chundering up on the bottom crashing around in all the sticks and the jacks have just they're just in here gorging on these on these shrimp No, like, to be honest, ideally you, you want to be fishing with a spinning outfit with these little lures because they're, they're really light. I'm still, I'm still able to do it with my bait caster, but it's just not a real smooth kind of a, kind of a cast. I'm sort of having to adjust a lot. But watch this. Come over here. Here's another epic bit of cover. And we're just on like a, it's a full like little muddy section. to the rod tip. Get it in nice and deep in there. And thrown right on top of the gums. Like that's where the shrimp and, and the little prawns are hiding. Come on. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Oh, it's me. You dog. Ah, oh, just wasn't quick enough, eh? He's just like fully hooked me up onto the log. Oh, I don't think, I think he's gone, eh? Oh, he was just rip and drag. He just, I couldn't, 
was a bit slow to set the hook, like to get into it, because I wasn't sure that I had it. Come on, buddy. Hang on. Just gotta be careful, don't wanna snap my rod. No, he's gone, I think. Wait, what's he doing? He's hooked me onto a log, eh? They're so smart, what they do, they just, they swim right by a log, they know what they're doing, they just hook you on and that's the end of the show. Come on, up you come, up you come. Yeah. Oh, you dog. <sighs> These little hooks are amazing, eh? They're still shit, like really hooky. <sighs> oh, there's another one. Right there. 